All right, everyone. Super Dog Lover One, and I'm back with another original Angry Birds story. I, it's called "The Birds Went Over the Mountain," an original Angry Birds story. Our story begins during lunchtime at Bird School. Indigo and his closest friends, Fly, Zack, Kevin, Eric, and Hatch. All sat at a table chatting and eating their favorite foods. Indigo was telling them about the time he had tagged along with Red, Chuck, and Bomb to find Mighty Eagle. And that's when Dad finally reached his limit and yelled, Stop making Mighty Eagle noises! And Chuck and Bomb finally stopped. When we got to the top, we were nowhere near Mighty Eagle's home. We had climbed the wrong mountain! What? Zack said, "Oh man!" Fly said it. Fly joined in. "Oh dear!" said Hatch. "Did you guys have to go back the way you came?" Kevin asked. "You bet we did, and we didn't get to the top of the right mountain until the next morning." "Whoa!" Eric said while munching on a sandwich. "Without eating breakfast?" Mm-hmm. Well, from the way it sounded, it took too long because Chuck and Bomb's noises distracted Red and threw you guys off course," said Fly. Well, who could blame them? After all, they were excited about meeting the legendary Mighty Eagle," said Kevin. "I honestly would like to meet him myself," Hatch said admittingly. Maybe he can give me some tips on how to be brave. Hmm. I don't know, Hatch. Indigo said doubtfully. Mighty Eagle kind of leads the lack of the life of a slacker right now. Even after he helped us save the eggs, I still wonder if he even considers doing heroics ever again. Well, why can't we just go up there and ask him ourselves? Kevin said enthusiastically. Wait. We, Zack said, starting to get a little nervous. Yeah, all six of us. We can climb up Eagle Mountain and. Z- Did you not listen to any of Indigo's story, Kevin? Zack interrupted. That mountain is like a skyscraper with no stairs or elevators. It would be tomorrow by the time we even got up there. And we missed dinner, and probably breakfast, Eric. Chimed in. Plus, there's no telling what kind of dangers there are along the way. Hatch said, trying hard not to think of anything scary. Oh come on, guys! Where's your sense of adventure? We can take on that dumb old mountain. I mean, how hard could it be? Said Fly. F- But Zack knew what was what what what, what Fly was talking about. Fly, I know where this is going. You just want to do this for some dumb thrills. Not necessarily," said Fly. "I mean, when was the last time us six guys ever did something exciting, huh? Come on, y'all. What do you say? One little trip up the mountain." "I'm in," said Kevin. "I guess I'll go too," said Hatch nervously. Me too. As long as we'll be back in time for dinner," said Eric, taking another bite of his sandwich. Ugh. Fine. I'm in too," Zack said, giving in. "What do you?" S- then the bur- then the boys all turned to Indigo. "What do you say, Indy? You up for a little adventure?" Indigo thought it over for a moment. Finally, he said, "Oh, all right. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We'll do it after school, but we need to be back by sunset." Agreed," said all five of his friends. And they continued on eating their lunch. A few hours later, ring. The school bell rang. All the bird kids excitedly left the school building. Indigo and his friend and his five friends were the last ones out. 
It's mountain climbing time, y'all, said Hat, I mean, said Fly. W wait now? Hatch said hesitantly. Yeah! This is gonna be so much fun! We'll be like six bird explorers! Kevin said excitedly. Wait, guys! Said Indigo, holding up a wing. Shouldn't we tell the grown-ups where we're going first? Nah! Fly denied. We'll be back before sundown without any problems. Don't jinx it! Hatch said. Not to worry, Hatch. Nothing bad is gonna... Not to worry, Hatch. Nothing bad is gonna happen to us, said Kevin, so sure. Well, I think I'll put my helmet on just to be safe. He put on his gray army helmet, which he managed to nab from Pig Island when they th fought the pigs for the first time, which is a little too big for him. Eric opened up a brown paper bag he had run out of the school. Let's see. Oatmeal cookies, some leftover veggie pizza, some green grapes, and... Ooh, a carrot! Clo and he, clo he closed the bag. Yep, I got everything I need. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to not feel good about this. Hatch... Hatch said nervously. I I Indigo's right. Maybe we should tell our families where we're going. Ah, oh, come on, we'll be fine, said Eric. It probably won't even take that long anyway. Well, let's get to it. The more time we waste fretting over stuff, the longer it's gonna take. Less talking, more rocking. Yeah, let's do this thing, said Kevin Hop jumping up with a with excitement. Totally Eric said uh, Alright Sh Zack shrugged Oh uh, okay I I'll try Once again the five boys turned to Indigo for an answer. You still in Indy? Fly asked. Well, I, uh, oh, okay, I'll still come too, but we really do need to be back before dark. Got it, said all five of his friends. Kevin picked up a large stick. Here's your leader stick. Every expedition leader has to have one. Uh, thanks. Indigo said, taking the stick. It was a foot or two taller than him. Taking a deep breath, Indigo led the way, stick in hand, with his friends following, single file behind him, towards the mountain to start their climb. Sometime later, the boys were making their way up the mountainside. Indigo was leading the way, but Kevin was beginning to get ahead. Because of how energetic and bouncy he was, he was hopping, somersaulting, and even parkouring up the rocks. Show off, Fly muttered. Kevin, stay with us. It's very easy to get lost up here. Zat looked back. Uh, guys, I think we're short of someone. The boys stopped climbing looked behind them, and groaned. Oh, come on, really? Oh, no. Eric was far behind them. He was at least a hundred feet away. Due to having a great fondness for food, he was a rather plump little bird indeed. He was panting, trying to keep up with the group. Indigo, Zack, Kevin, Fly, and Hatch all sat on some rocks and waited impatiently for him to catch up. Moments later, Indigo struggled to carry all five of his friends to the top of a high cliff. He was still getting used to having flying wings on his back, 
and having to hold on to five young birds around his age all at once was a challenge for him. But he kept on flapping his wings as hard as he could, until at last he reached the cliff top. One by one, his friends let go of each other and landed safely on the rock side. All six boys looked down to see how high they had gone. Imagine their surprise when they saw wh that they had gone at least 200 feet up. They could see the village far below them. Whoa! S F Hatch gasped, cowering slightly. Dang! Guess we were so busy climbing that we didn't even think to see how far we went. The boys all stared at each other in bewilderment.